So in this video, I want to talk about how powerfully seductive vulnerability, strong vulnerability can be uh, with women when combined with turn on and the masters that do this. And the masters, there's three people I'm thinking of in, in general that do this really well. One was James Dean and there's an amazing scene of James Dean um, doing a wardrobe test for East of Eden with, I believe it's Lois, Lois Smith. And then there's Marlon Brando, of course. When he hit the scene back in the day, that dude was was pushing the boundaries of sexual turn on and playing. And he also did this same thing that I'm thinking about, that I'm gonna be talking about today. And then there's Elvis, man. Elvis was, was just exuding sexual energy on stage. He was all about the hips but there was also a vulnerable nature to him. They were all three bad boys and they all had this vulnerable nature. This dirty, raw, sexual nature they didn't apologize for. Matter of fact, they loved being turned on, but they also loved being vulnerable. So before I get into that and start talking specifically about what that is, I wanna invite you to like, subscribe and share uh, this video. Um, uh, the more you like, subscribe and share, the faster the channel grows, uh, the easier it is for me to bring you more content and make sure to comment in the video. We love those comments. You guys have been giving me great comments the last few weeks about what do you wanna see in the channel? I've been looking at them all. I wanna thank you for that. And I get, you guys really want releasing. You want more releasing, you want more emotional intelligence. You want to go deeper into this stuff. So the stuff that I want to start covering for the channel before I get into the topic here, is I wanna get deeper into releasing in the next few months and really go back to doing some releases with you guys. I wanna get deeper into emotional intelligence. I wanna get deeper into breaking the nice guy syndrome with releasing, building sexual confidence with releasing, getting better with vulnerability with releasing and uh, getting really good with tension. And that's what the theme of the channel should really be about. Not so much the, the how-tos of pickup, but the internal game. If the how-tos of pickup, you can definitely check out Fearless uh, Anthony. Anthony at the Fearless Man, Dash the Fearless Man, I believe it is. Uh, we can put a link in here to his YouTube channel. He'll be putting more videos up there soon as he is building his own business now and I'm supporting him in that process. He'll be taking you guys out in the future. Now, let's dive in. What is this awesome thing that I'm talking about? Well, you see, the naturals and uh, James Dean, Marlon Brando, Elvis, and so many others that I've known throughout the year that I've met personally, so many others that I've watched, clients of mine, the way we used to teach in the workshops, they really feel down the core of their being. They feel really vulnerable in the face, the throat, the heart, the stomach. I'm gonna explain what this is. I'm gonna tell you a little story. Um, and they're turn on and, uh, and they don't apologize for it. When they look at women, they look at women through that vulnerability and with that vulnerability in a playful, turned on sort of way. Because there's almost like a, if you pay attention, there's almost like a connection that goes straight down through the heart, through the stomach, down to the turn on. And when you feel that connection and you, you, it's very enjoyable, you enjoy it. But what most guys do when they approach women is they walk up with in their head, and they're like, hi, my name is Brian. And I've been demonstrating this a lot lately. Hey, how you doing? I just wanted to say hi. They're not connected below the neck at all. And I wanna invite you into the idea that you can start to become connected through here. Now, if we take a look at this scene of James Dean from East of Eden, the wardrobe test, and you, you pay attention to it, you can see how he is playing with feeling. There's no, there's no lines in this scene. They're just kind of talking um, as it, they're just kind of, they're just kind of playing as they do the wardrobe test. They're just having fun. But you'll notice he's getting very, he's looking down into his body. Notice how much he looks down into his body. And then he looks back at her and he sees where she's at. And then he pulls back and he pulls his energy away a little bit. Then he brings his energy back and he tests the water again. And then he pulls it away a little bit and brings it back until he starts to almost break through her pseudo walls. And I call them pseudo walls because she you already know she likes them. You can tell even when she's kind of pulling away, there's a sense that she doesn't want them to go away. And then they finally connect and they start to lean into each other. And she pulls into him and then he pulls away and then he pulls her back and then she pulls until eventually they come together. Well, that's the seductive dance. That's done through vulnerability through here. I want to, what I want to do is give you guys the gift of a release talking about this. I want to do a release for you guys in a future video, probably next week. Um, but this week, I really want to get this point across. And what I want you to do is watch this scene and I want you to comment on it. Do you see the vulnerability? Think about it this way. When if I'm looking at a beautiful woman and I look down, I can look, I can do this. Hi, my name is Brian. How are you? 
what's your name? Where are you from? Or I can look down. Hi, my name, hi, my name is Brian. I can look down, find the feeling, find my turn on, get into my turn on, look back. How you doing? What's your name? And there's a different energy in that. There's almost a flirtation. So I want everybody to try this today. Ask your heart to open, feel your heart, feel as raw and vulnerable right here as you can. Ask it to open. Almost imagine there's like a, a door opening right there, like a, a window shutters, just the window just opening a little bit. And then I want you to relax your stomach muscles a little and see if you can relax some of that energy down into your stomach and feel all the way down to the hips and the turn on. And then I want you to shut your eyes and look down for a second. See if you can feel down through that area and just explore it and then come back up and see if you can pull up in the vulnerability in your throat. So you can feel back up through here, up to the throat, up to the jaw and then come back down and explore that line of energy all the way down to your hips again, down to your balls, down to your cock, down to your turn on. Feel that, feel the ground beneath you and then come back up. And when, every time you come back up, I want you to ask your heart to open again. So ask it to open a little wider. Look down, feel, explore, feel the stomach, feel through the, feel through the heart from the, feel through the throat, heart, down to the stomach, down to the turn on. Be with it for a moment. When it feels good, then kind of come back up and ask the heart to open again and then use the eyes. Now this time, I want you to do it again. I want you to look down, feel down through the heart, through the stomach, down to the turn on, and then come back and pick an object in the room like I'm picking the camera and look at it while feeling this whole area. And just be with it for a minute. And then look down, feel it again. So you can get a sense of tingle, endorphin pop coming from your cock and balls, from your heart, and then bring all that energy back up. Say, hey, how you doing? What's your name? Where are you from? What are you drinking? Oh, that's interesting. And See how it feels to speak from this place. Notice what comes out of your mouth. Look back down, explore it. You can even touch, like if you start to get that sensual energy when you touch your own body, it'll feel enjoyable. And then come back and then smile, enjoy, feel the turn on. Feel how good it feels. You can practice this on a daily basis. All you have to do is welcome the heart open a little bit. Welcome the stomach open, feel the turn on, and then talk from it, communicate from it. This is turn on. This is letting the turn on and the vulnerability run through your body, just like that scene with James Dean. What I want to do for you guys is help you to go deeper into these energies so you can take them in your dates, your interactions, your approaches, whatever you're going to use them for in your communication in everyday life. You should be turned on for life. You should be vulnerable for life. That's what makes people connect to you, enjoy you. Now, if I was to disconnect from this and pull up, I could lock up here. Hey, how you doing? My name's Brian. And I still have some of it going, but I could pull way back. Hey, my name's Brian. What's your name? Where are you from? Oh, interesting. I like that drink. Uh, it's a good drink. I, I've had it before. Um, well, tell me more about that. now. Now, again, if we do this practice again, and I relax into the chest, I relax into the stomach, I relax in the turn on, I feel the vulnerability in the hands because the endorphins kick up. And then I come back and I'm like, hey, how you doing? And I start to enjoy the idea of the communication. I'm like, ah, you know, and I smile and I, I can look down, I can enjoy it. I don't have to look directly at the person either. I can be looking a little coy I can look off to the side. I can look at you. I can take the energy away and come back. And I can play with this energy. I can have fun with this energy. I can practice enjoying myself. So for the next week, I want you to do three things. Um, number one, I want you to listen to my full body scan meditation. It's a YouTube video I put out a while ago. It's done really well. It helps to teach you to feel the core of your body. Number two, I want you to practice this on your own when you're out and about. Take times and just stop, shut your eyes and practice feeling down the front of your body. Start with the jaw, start with the throat, just like in the full body scan, start with the heart, come down the stomach, come all the way down to the turn on. And then every once in a while, look back up at the environment around you, just take it in. 
check everybody out, check everything out, and then go back and do it again. Keep doing this till it gets more comfortable. If you feel a little uncomfortable, you feel a little like resistant, you feel walled off, just keep doing it every day. The body scan meditation and the practice, developing the ability to feel this part of your body so that you can start communicating with more feeling, with more vulnerability, and more turn on. This will help you in so many ways. And number three, I want you to go come back to this video and I want you to post in the comments exactly how much you're changing, how much you're growing, because I'm gonna be looking for these comments. If you guys do this, if you go back, post, comment, and start to uh, do more of it, I'm gonna do a new version of the body scan meditation for you guys. I'm gonna put it up here on YouTube in the next month or so. Um, and, uh, and that's pretty much it for this week, guys. I wanna teach you how to start feeling the core of your body in this area. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start going into more releases to do these processes. I'm gonna start bringing in releases for the heart a little bit, a little bit for the turn on. And if you wanna learn more about releasing, uh, then uh, definitely let me know in the comments, okay? So again, there'll be a link in this video for the full body scan meditation. Uh, if you wanna learn more about the revealing releasing course, there'll be a link in the video for that to help develop your emotional intelligence. And in the coming weeks, what we will be doing is talking more about releasing around the nice guy syndrome, tension, sexual turn on, vulnerability, confidence. It's gonna be an inner game channel. That's the direction I'm going. Hopefully you like this video and uh, remember, only the confident really live. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.